You know, I'm always telling people that you can cash out or you can spend your cryptocurrency. And I'm also getting a lot of people that keeps on telling me, hey, you should never spend your cryptocurrency. And they're right too. But I'm gonna be telling you why you should not spend your cryptocurrency if you wanna actually hold on to it in this video. Stick around. What's up Crypto Land? Black Crypto here bringing another cryptocurrency video where I talk about the basics of Bitcoin and everything else cryptocurrency. Now for most it's an easy decision and that's in terms of you know should I buy Bitcoin? Should I sell Bitcoin? Should I hold Bitcoin? Should I even spend my Bitcoin? And you know what to be honest with you only you can answer that actual question. But in this video, what I'm going to be explaining to you is maybe some other ways to actually think about Bitcoin if you decide to actually hold on to your Bitcoin and you don't want to just spend it. Now, for most, you're probably only looking at Bitcoin as an investment in terms of, for instance, if Bitcoin today is $60,000, you're really just hoping Bitcoin goes up to $70,000 or maybe $100,000 and pretty much cash out. But that's not the only way to start looking at Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. There's a lot of other use cases when it comes to cryptocurrencies, but if you decide to actually hold on to your cryptocurrency and you don't want to spend it right now, then let's go ahead and keep these things in mind. Okay, as much as it pains me to actually say this, and I've made a video about this actually, cash is still king. Now, when I actually say that, that's because for instance, if you have some Bitcoins, you might want to actually cash out some here and there if the price goes up. Now, with other cryptocurrencies as well, if the price goes down, you can actually lose your money, but you can also gain some money with shorting it. And that's a whole totally different subject. But when it comes to actual cash, you may still love the touch and the smell of actual cash. But not that, that's not the only reason. To tell you the truth, cash is gonna be here for a very long time. And cash is one of those things that we probably won't get rid of, probably for the foreseeable future, at least for the next probably five to 10 years. Honestly, when it comes to governments, you know, their foothold is cash. And when they go ahead and switch over to digital currencies, this is not something that's gonna be right away because people are still gonna to have to learn what cryptocurrencies are. Then they're gonna to have to learn exactly how to use them and get used to it. Once that starts to happen and people are starting to be used to it and people start to forget about cash, then we can start seeing us get rid of actual physical cash. But that's gonna take a very long time for that to happen. And I don't see that happening for at least about 10 years. The next thing is that you have to remember, you know, cash is meant to be spent. So it's meant to be spent in terms of transactions going from person to person. And it really is convenient, especially in terms of you pulling out your phone and have to pull out an app and then go and have to pay for something. You know, of course, that is very quick and it is convenient with that as well. But when it comes to cash, I mean, you know, nothing really beats cash, at least right now. So as we start to get used to these cryptocurrencies and they start to phase out cash, cash is still king. So the first thing is, why would you actually hold on to your cryptocurrency? Well, actually, the first thing let's get out of the way is Bitcoin is a digital currency and you can use it just like any other currency you use in the real world. You can use it online, for instance, to buy some goods and services. So let's pretty much get that out of the way. Other than that, in terms of you actually holding on to Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, well, you can hold on to it just like any other asset. And Bitcoin is one of the best performing assets that we've ever seen over the past decade. And we're talking about compared to, for instance, stocks and for instance, gold. Not only that, you can start building generational wealth. Start holding on to your Bitcoin and start building generational wealth with you and your family. Not only that, you can start getting ready for the next crisis. If there was anything that we learned with the last crisis in terms of this pandemic, we were probably not as prepared as we thought we were. We probably did not have as much in our savings as we thought we did. We probably weren't saving or have a mentality to save like we thought we did. So in terms of getting ready for the next crisis, we can use Bitcoin to do that in terms of cryptocurrencies and put ourselves in a totally different position than we were, for instance, last year and come out on top if anything ever comes out like that ever again. Now, of course, a lot of people wanna hold on to their cryptocurrency, but there are a few that want to actually spend it. So, you know, why would you actually wanna spend your cryptocurrencies? 
Now the short answer is of course, it's you know use it like a utility. Go ahead and pay for goods and services, like I said and touched on. Now, just like fiat currency that you can go to a retailer and buy something, you can do the exact same thing with Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. Of course, you know, a few years ago, there were a lot of stores that didn't accept any kind of cryptocurrencies. And now hundreds and thousands of stores now accept cryptocurrencies in some way or another. If they don't accept cryptocurrencies directly, one of the things that you can actually do is go ahead and get a, you know, Bitcoin debit card or a Bitcoin uh, credit card and actually, you know, by converting your Bitcoin or your other cryptocurrencies to fiat currencies and then using that card at an actual retailer. So that's what you can actually do if you decide to actually spend it. Okay, okay, okay. So maybe you've made up your mind and you don't want to spend your cryptocurrency and that's actually okay. And I have no problems with that. But I'm going to give you about five things that I want you to keep in mind also when it comes to you not spending your Bitcoin because maybe you're only thinking about it as an investment like I said and you don't want to only think about Bitcoin as an investment. There's so many other different things that you can actually do other than just spend it. So let's go ahead and talk about those. So the first thing that you can actually do if you don't want to actually spend your Bitcoin and that's okay is you can accumulate a whole lot more. Go ahead and start buying some more Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies and start adding to your actual stash because you know what? One day, of course, that could be worth a whole lot more than it is right now today. And at that time, you might be actually wealthy. Your family might be actually wealthy at that time. So go ahead and start accumulating a lot more. The second thing that you can actually do if you don't want to spend your Bitcoin is go ahead and transfer it to a long-term storage solution. And what I'm usually talking about is an offline hardware wallet. You always see me with a hardware wallet right there. So when it comes to an offline hardware wallet, this is one of the safest solutions when it comes to you know, being offline away from hackers and also a storage solution. If you want to hold your Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies for you know, a year or two years or five or 10 years, this is probably one of the best options for you. Not only that, when it comes to this, I want you to actually start organizing your accounts and then also take these cryptocurrencies off, for instance, these exchanges and put it onto this hardware wallet for long-term storage solution because you wanna actually take possession of your actual cryptocurrency. So start doing that if you don't wanna actually spend your cryptocurrency. So the third thing that I want you to keep in mind if you don't wanna actually spend your cryptocurrency is go ahead and get some interest on your cryptocurrency. Just like in the real world with a traditional bank, you will be getting interest on your cash. The only difference is now is that you are getting very low interest on that actual savings account but with actual cryptocurrency, we're seeing outrageous interest rates, of course, from 1% and all the way as high as 20% that we're getting. So you can actually do this on a lot of different exchanges or you can take possession of your cryptocurrency and start getting interest on your cryptocurrencies within your actual wallet. And this is one of the powerful things about cryptocurrency that we're seeing as it is really just shaking up the whole financial sector. So the fourth thing that you can do if you don't want to spend your crypto is go ahead and borrow against it. And I'm talking about get yourself a crypto back loan. So use your crypto as a form of collateral and get yourself some cash and then go ahead and pay back that loan at a given time. So just like in the real world, when you go ahead and you get a loan, you probably have to put up your home or your car or some cash and you probably don't want to do that. Now that you have some cryptocurrency and you know the price of cryptocurrency is probably going to go up, then keep it safe but get a loan against it, especially if you know you're able to pay back that actual loan. You know, the fifth thing that you can do if you don't want to actually spend your actual cryptocurrency is go ahead and earn more cryptocurrency. And I'm talking about go ahead and start yourself a business. Maybe start yourself a business or if you even have a business, start accepting cryptocurrency as a form of payment. Any traditional type of business out there probably can start integrating some form of cryptocurrency one way or another. So if you have a business idea, this can be a great time for you to start a business also in a space of cryptocurrency. Say for instance, when it came to cash, uh, maybe you wanted to start up some type of ATM business, or maybe you wanted to start up an actual bank or credit union, for instance, or maybe you just wanted to start up your own little store or your online business. Now you can do this when it comes to cryptocurrency. As you know, I am a web developer and I've created a lot of different websites, of course, in terms of cryptocurrency based websites. And this is one of the ways that I actually earn some passive income in Bitcoin. 
and you can actually do the same. I gave you about five really good things to think about, but I'm actually gonna give you a bonus one, and that's, of course, go ahead out there and educate others. If you have some Bitcoins, that means you're probably a little bit savvy when it comes to you buying and selling some Bitcoins. So as others are really interested in Bitcoin, tell them about Bitcoin. Maybe teach them how to buy and sell Bitcoins themselves. I mean, of course, when it comes to Bitcoin and it becomes, you know, more and bigger in terms of using it as a form of currency, people are going to have to understand this and people have to understand it from people they trust. So you as being a person that somebody else trusts, go ahead and tell them. Otherwise, what you can also do is send them right here to this channel. And also, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell so you'll be notified anytime I release any new videos right here on this channel. And also keep in mind, I mean, this is almost like, for instance, you getting some money, flashing around and telling everybody about your new job and they have an opening, your friend is unemployed, but you won't tell them. That's not fair. All right, crypto land, so there you have it. So if you don't want to spend your cryptocurrency, you know what, that's quite all right. But make sure at least go out there and start helping the next person. Teach somebody in terms of how you got involved with cryptocurrency. Help them to also get involved with cryptocurrency. Not only that, what you can also do is start accumulating more. Go ahead and start gaining some interest on your actual cryptocurrency and put it away for a long-term storage. And if you don't have a business or want to start a business, this is the perfect time, especially when it comes to you accepting cryptocurrency or starting a business that has to do around cryptocurrency like I have. So guys, I'm Black Crypto. Thank you for checking out this cryptocurrency video. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell so you'll be notified anytime I'm releasing new videos right here on this channel. And also, leave a comment below. Let me know in terms of you yourself. If you're holding on to your cryptocurrency, what are your plans in terms of for that cryptocurrency? Do you plan on opening up a new business? Are you planning just to sell it at a given time because you want that cash? Let me know in the comment section below. And also, hit that like button because it helps me get my videos recommended out there to everybody. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.